Hello, Libra viewers. Sorry I've been off for a long time, but I am back now. I'm still doing private readings too, so if any of you would like a private reading, my information is below. That's a pretty good card to get right off the bat. Engagement ring, leveling up, higher level commitment. But um, anyway, my email address is dragonenchantress at awol.com. That is below in the description box. Also, I really appreciate your support, engaging with the channel, liking, sharing, uh, subscribing to the channel if it resonates with you, commenting. It, it gets me back in the algorithm to get YouTube promoting my videos again. So I really appreciate that. So we have engagement ring, healthy choices, keys on a ring. Not today. So many options. Let's see here. Date, meeting somebody new, coffee cup, feeling uplifted, friendship, hand of cards, taking a chance, risk, options. Girl talk, time with friends, happy being single. You have a lot of options right now um, when it comes to love. You have more than one person that's... You have people reminiscing about you, keepsake perception, the uh, camera, this, you know, that kind of energy is like someone, someone watching you, someone, yeah, I like you, someone, someone likes you, romance is blossoming, fun, flirty, wanting to date, twin flames, okay. I feel, you know, take it as it resonates for some, your twin flame, you already know them and they're coming back around, but you're debating on if you just want to put yourself out there and meet new people. For others, I feel like some of you are considering settling for someone from your past, like this person might be coming back around, but there's incompatibilities and your spirit guides are basically saying don't settle for that person because your actual true love is right around the corner, somebody that's going to resonate with you. And you don't have to be with your twin flame. You could also be with a higher level soulmate. The energy that I'm, I'm getting from this reading is, is basically that the world is just your oyster. There's not... There's not really like a right or a wrong choice. I actually feel like you have more than one potential life partner that's coming in. You know, you're manifesting love right now. I feel like some of you are really kind of in your head right now. You're like, do I give this old person a chance? Do I just want to be single for a while? Um, do I want to get back out there and date new people? Like what do I want to do? And I think your spirit guides are kind of saying like the world is your oyster. The choice is yours. Because I think for this energy group, what I'm channeling is a lot of you are kind of like, a lot of you are like asking a lot of, um, like you're doing a lot of soul searching right now and you're asking yourself like, well, what's destined for me? What's right? Like if I go with this person, am I going to, is this really the right person for me? Or am I going to miss out on opportunities with someone else? And I think your spirit guides are just saying you actually have more than one potential life partner around you or coming in the near future. So it's basically saying don't settle. Don't confuse yourself, but but you don't have to settle. If something's not feeling right for you, like if someone, maybe somebody that is just a little, um, I don't know why I'm getting like a military kind of energy, somebody that just doesn't really like your free spiritedness or doesn't really understand you somebody that um or it could be you you're in the military and, and maybe you're, you're not resonating with those types of people whatever it might be I think the message here is you know to step back and and realize you have realize that the world is your oyster you have multiple options you don't have to settle for somebody that's not really compatible with you out of loneliness because if you decide to move on from that the universe it, it they'll bring you somebody new that will resonate with you that will match your energy I think for this energy group some of you might have gotten caught up on labels like this could be somebody that hasn't treated you well but you're like well this person's my twin flame or this person's my soulmate or I had you know I had these past lives with this person so you know why am I not happy with them or why isn't this enough for me and it's like you're you're fighting with yourself it's like you're arguing with yourself and trying to convince yourself to settle settle with somebody and, you know, don't get caught up on the labels because some people do choose to be, some people choose their twin flames this lifetime, but some people choose higher level soulmates. You know, the choice is yours. If, you know, don't worry about the label, don't worry about whatever past life connection that you had. If this person isn't treating you well, if they're just not resonating with what you want for yourself, for your life, you know, it's, it's okay. You're not, you're not going off your destined path. If you decide that you do want to leave this person behind and you do want to manifest somebody new, you know, some of you are like, 
I feel I'm for this energy group, I'm just really getting that like your spirit guides want you to take initiative. Like they want you to step into your power. They want you to make your own decisions. Because I feel like for this group, it's like you guys are kind of waiting on them to make all these life decisions for you. You're like, well, you know, is this person right or is this person right? Or it's should I should I stay in this location or should I move to this other state? Or should I should I stay at this job or move to, you know, should I should I choose this job or this job? And they want you to to kind of see the world as your playground, to just make the world your oyster and just go after what you want, go after what, do some soul searching and find what resonates for you. You know, they don't want you choosing these, you know, certain things because they, because you think that's your destiny or you think that your spirit guides want it for you. They want you to step into your power and make these decisions for yourself because it's what you genuinely want because it's what you your soul resonates with you so the energy i'm getting is they're saying you know stop worrying so much about making the you know about whether it's the right or wrong choice they they want you to just to step up and just choose what's right for you and and they're going to have your back there I'm, I'm feeling like there's multiple roads that lead to the same destination you know what i mean like you, you know, you have at least a couple different potential life partners here. I'm going to pull some uh, tarot cards on this and see what we get with that. But, but yeah, it's basically just, you know, deciding what you want. It's, you, you don't need anybody else to tell you who you are or what you want or what's right for you. You know what I mean? Even if this person is your twin flame, if they're not resonating with you if they're not making you happy you you have that free will you have you're, you're not going to disappoint your spirit guides or maybe some of you are worried about disappointing like friends or family or you know so, like what society will think but it's like your spirit guides are asking you to to do some soul searching and and decide what's right for you personally even if nobody else understands that you know you've got to go down your own path four of wands five of pentacles and like I said, I feel like a lot of these paths lead to the same destination, you know, like if you're meant to have a, a happy creative life, or let's say that you're meant to be a musician, it's like you're going to be a musician with the old person or with the new person, you know what I mean? Like you're going to have that either way, you're, you, you don't have to worry so much, the universe will, um, it will redirect you to, to what's, you know, destined for you. It's not saying destiny doesn't exist, but just that there's multiple paths to the same destination so you don't have to get caught up on on the the current details so much you know what i mean like you're still going to get to where you where you're meant to be i guess is what i'm saying and sometimes you know sometimes you really just have options too like if you're if you're considering moving out of state or or staying you know where you're at it, it's it's up to you it really is there's there's there's, there's not like a wrong choice is what I'm saying. But anyway, four of wands, five of pentacles, the high priestess, the king of cups. The four of swords, the star. The nine of wands, two of swords, the page of swords. I feel like for some of you, this could actually be an issue of wanting to stay with someone that looks at, like not wanting to rock the boat. You know, this is like peace, stability. Five of Pentacles can be like uh, like anxiety. It could also be financial poverty. So some of you, it's like you're, you're wanting to avoid the drama. Maybe some of you are wanting to avoid a messy breakup. It's like you don't want to have to start over from scratch. Um or this could even be like, you know, worried about, I feel like you just have some kind of pressure. And for some of you, this is just yourself. This is just you feeling kind of lost and confused and kind of fighting yourself on, you know, just very unsure of what you want. For others of you, though, I feel like this could be like family, you know, friends, society, people that it's like maybe you guys are like in the same friend group, like you all know each other. So, you know, if you break up, it's going to be really messy. Or maybe your family, like your parents want like a certain type of person for, for you. And this, this person looks really good on paper. But your spirit guides are asking you to, to stop listening to other people. You know, don't worry about what other people want. Don't worry about, you know, maybe this could be like a situation where it's like maybe your, uh, 
if you guys all live together and you have a roommate, it's like you don't want to, you know, break up because then it's, you know, it's just like a huge mess. Like you don't you don't want to start from square one and you feel bad for the roommate because the roommate might have to move out and you might lose them as a friend. And it's just all this drama. But I, I think your spirit guides are asking you to step back and think about it. If there were, let's say that there was no drama, let's say that you could just start from square one and you could stay with this person or, or you know, go back to this person, whatever it might be, or you could manifest somebody new, what would you do? Because you have multiple potential life partners. Um, your, your spirit guides are basically asking you, though, to stop listening to your, to, you know, Stop listening to, you know, friends, family, roommates, people that, that don't know the full situation, people that just, it, it's like they're not you. They're, it's not their life. It's your life. You have to listen to yourself. Um, for others of you, I feel like, for others of you, I feel like this might not necessarily be other people, but it might just be yourself. It might be you fighting with yourself where you're like, well, I'm getting older. I don't, I don't want to have to start over. I don't want to, you know, I put all this time and energy into this person. Like, and this might not even be someone, I mean, it could be like for a lot of you, I'm getting, this as like a relationship that you're in, but for some of you, this might just be like an ex where you're holding out and you're, you're waiting for, you know, things to work with them. And then, you know, some part of you also wants to start over new and manifest new people. But some of you are holding on to this past person because you're like, well, you know, this is my twin flame or this is, you know, the person I was channeling. So I don't, you know, I don't want to have to start over again. But basically, your spirit guides are asking you to just step back and to really listen to your heart, to really follow your heart and follow your intuition. Don't worry don't listen to the fear, basically. Don't don't worry about other people's opinions or, you know, society's opinions or friends or family or, you know, what drama might unfold. You know, it, it's, it's inevitable. It's, it's going to happen. But, you know, don't worry about all those things or don't, you know, if you're if you're in that in that group where you're, you know, fighting yourself where you're just kind of, you know, you feel like you put all this energy into it. it it's like, don't listen to that anymore. You know, listen to your intuition, listen to what feels right for you. Imagine you are just starting from square one. Would you still choose this person? Would you still want to stay in this connection or go back to this connection if they're not around right now? Or would you want to manifest somebody new? Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's time to do some soul searching I feel like, and I'm sorry to call you guys out, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but like, don't shoot the messenger, this is just what I'm channeling, like, those of you that know me, like, that watch, that watch my channel, like, you know, like, how I used to read in the past, like, it's, my readings are very honest, like, I can't, you know, I'll, I'll try to deliver the message, messages gently, as, as gently as I can, but, you know, I have to be honest with you guys, I have to, you know, tell you what it is so that you can make these life changes, you know, that's the whole point of, of these tarot readings, right, is so that you know, so that you're not left in the dark, so that you know what's going on, and so that you have the information you need to make these choices, and sometimes it's kind of intense, you know, sometimes it is like a tower moment where you have these epiphanies, and you're like, oh, wait, I wasn't ready for this, but it's like, you know, it's divine timing. It is what it is, you know. Um, but anyway, some of you have just been kind of like ignoring the red flags out of convenience, um, you know, because it's, it's more convenient. Like maybe you're focused on other things so you're, and you're, you've got a busy life. So you're like, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with all the, the drama that would come with making these life changes or I don't want to deal with you know, for some of you that are holding on to a past person, but there's this part of you that wants to go out and explore and manifest somebody new. Some of you are like, you know, I don't want to deal with like the trauma and the pain of really finally like fully accepting that that relationship was not for me, that it doesn't resonate with me. Um, you know, some of you, it's like you don't want to go through that pain. You're trying to bury that pain. But for the majority of this in this energy group, I feel like a lot of you are like waiting for your spirit guides to make these decisions for you. And honestly, I feel like your spirit guides are saying it's up to you. Like they're they're giving you all this power, and you know, with great power comes you know great responsibility. But it, it's like I think a lot of you are like kind of lost and confused, and you're just looking for that guidance, and you're like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And and your spirit guides are just you know telling you to to follow your heart, to, to, you know, follow your intuition, to not listen to other people, not listen, not worry about what society thinks, not worry about the drama, 
You know, they, they don't want you. They're basically saying they're not going to make these decisions for you. They're, they're not going to, you know what I mean? Like a lot of you are like, what do I do? What do I do? And it's like, they're just, your spirit guides are saying like, they want you to step into your power. They want you to take initiative. They want you to be assertive. They don't want to tell you what to do because it's your life. And because there's not like, like for this energy group, I don't feel like there's one set path. Like I really feel like you have, you know, like I was saying more than one potential life partner. So they want you to do that soul searching. They want you to not worry about what other people think. And they want you to be the high priestess um, here, you know, male or female. They just want you in this energy where you're using your intuition, where you're going with what feels right for you, even if there's drama, even if it, it causes, you know, some chaos. It's like you have to do what feels right. I don't know if anybody watches Shadowhunters, but like for those of you that have seen Shadowhunters, like I'm seeing that scene where um Alex Alec is in like this arranged marriage and they're I'm not going to get too far into that because most of you probably haven't seen that but Alec is basically in this arranged marriage and they're you know the wedding is taking place and then Magnus interrupts the wedding and basically Alec comes out as gay to to everybody just all at once and he's like you know I don't want to marry this this woman that I'm not even attracted to you just just because it looks just because it's good for everybody else. I want to do what's right for me, you know, so that's kind of what your spirit guides are asking you to do. They're asking you to to not worry so much about the labels or about other opinions. I feel like there's a lot of healing here that needs to be done with the four of swords. Like I'm not saying it'll be necessarily easy, but I feel like. Nine of Wands and Two of Swords. It's like one final battle left, but it's almost like an internal battle. It's like finding yourself. It's like this is like this is kind of a necessary process to reclaim your power. Because if your spirit guides do it for you, like if you're, you know, considering that you don't want this relationship anymore and your spirit guides just, you know, block it out for you or they just, you know, cause some drama to happen, then it, it then you didn't really step into your power. You know what I mean? Like your spirit guides just intervened and did that for you. But it wasn't, there was no personal choice there. There was no free will. It was just them taking care of it for you, you know? So this is kind of a test about, you know, having that integrity and stepping into your power and choosing what's right for you, doing that soul searching. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles is somebody that's, you know, stable. It could be financially stable, mentally stable. Ace of Swords is, it's like clarity, truth, communication. And I feel like you're just having this, I feel like you're having these epiphanies or like you're about to have these epiphanies. Maybe this reading is hopefully going to open something up for you where it's like you're going to have this clarity and you're going to be like, I need to invest this energy into me. I need to stop worrying so much about everybody else. I need to think about what's right for me. I need to think about, you know, I need to open my mind up and figure out what I want to manifest. You know, Nine of Pentacles is somebody that's, somebody that's just living their best life, you know, kind of what I was saying, making the world your oyster, just, just taking control of your life, just doing, yeah, and then you get to the Ten of Pentacles, and then the Hangman, and that comes, getting to that Ten of Pentacles is basically happening because you have this new perspective, and I know a lot of people channel the Hangman differently, I honestly always see it as, you know, because the Hangman is like, is about, you know, it's pausing, and a lot of people, you know, see it as like a, as like a stagnant kind of card but I don't see it that way because you know with the hangman it's like yeah it's kind of chaotic and you're kind of feeling lost but at the same time it's like you have this new perspective like you're seeing things differently you know this could be somebody that was raised to feel like if you're married you never get divorced and so you're like in this unhappy situation or like you have kids with somebody and you're like you're not really in love with them but you're like well you know it's best for the kids and it's like well, I mean, it's probably best for the kids for them to see you with somebody that like actually really, you know, that you're, you're in love with or but it's, that's better for them or to even see you happy by yourself is better than them. Like having that example of like a loveless marriage, you know what I mean? But, but yeah, it's a beautiful energy though, because it's like, you're coming into this new perspective. I think you're going to take a lot of this to heart 
and your um and that's what I'm feeling with the hangman here it's like you're you're seeing the bigger picture you're like yeah like wait a minute I do need to set boundaries I do need to to figure out what resonates most with me and and again there's not like a wrong option here there's multiple potential life partners so for a lot of you the person you're holding on to or the person you're currently with might very well be a potential life partner but you also have somebody else out there who is maybe even more than one person maybe even like a few people so it's it's just kind of saying like what do you want that's the the tricky question that's the that's the question that's been scaring you that's the question that you've been running from and not wanting to answer but your spirit guides are saying it's time to sit down and answer it what do you want what do you want out of life out of people out of love you know and you can get a notebook and you can maybe just just take notes of these things like maybe even make a list of what qualities you'd like in a person um make a list of just maybe even passions and hobbies and things that you've neglected. Like maybe if you used to sing or you used to write or you used to, um, you know, like maybe be into dancing or you used to, you know, be more active or be more social. Like what do you, what do you want? What do you, what hobbies do you want to pursue? What career do you want to pursue? What feels right for you? And again, it's a matter of not getting in your head. Don't worry about like, oh, this career wouldn't be profitable enough or, you know, this relationship wouldn't be this or that. No, like what actually feels right to you on a soul level? Like your mind is getting in the way and you got to get, you got to, you know, get out of your own way, basically. Get your mind out of the, out of your way. Just meditate, maybe listen to some binaural beats, just ground yourself and do that soul searching and maybe journaling. So anyway, I hope this helped you guys a lot. And like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. Thank you for watching and please engage, you know, comment, like, share, subscribe. It helps me get, you know, back in the algorithm with YouTube. So thank you.